What is cracking, people? It is, oh my gosh, I think what this is going on, people? It is February 8th, 2020 in Big Bear Lake, California. This is the calm before the storm. Oh my gosh, look at that horse's ass. Oh wait, it is a horse's ass. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay, um, yeah, anyway. How you guys doing, man? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are good. We are up here at some ranch land up on the top of Baldwin. The complete other end of town, folks. So we're gonna do a complete drive around town so you guys can see every part of town, where there's snow, where there's not, and get prepared for this uh, little bit of snow that's coming. So this might be a little early for this calm before the storm, but maybe not. We got about 24 hours till we should start getting anything. But that's what I usually do, right? A day before. So let's just uh, wash off the sap there. The Bob sap. It's a really beautiful place, man. I love it up here. So you guys are gonna see this really incredible view right here. This is, uh, we're at the top of Baldwin looking out towards Snow Summit and Bear Mountain to the left there. Oops, and then, uh, yeah, sorry about that. We got a phone call that interrupted the recording. So what I had to do was uh, turn my phone on Do Not Disturb for right now. But yeah, we're in Baldwin. And as you can see, there's just no snow left over here. Absolutely none. Temperature right now is 58 degrees. Can you guys believe that? 58 degrees. And it's February, but we got temperatures significantly about to plummet um, in the next day and a half. Look at these bikers right here, man. So the, my friend who just called me, we are going on a ride real shortly here. He's in Apple Valley driving back up right now on his bike with his friend, and then we're gonna go for a cruise. You know what's really cool about this guy is he knows some Vagos, and I've always been really intrigued in that world. Um, I think that that's super cool. But yeah, anyway, so um, I'm thinking out of all this snow that we're supposed to get, I think we're, we'll probably get between three to six inches total. That's my, my, uh, prediction just because of of seeing the model and seeing how fast it's going to be blowing through um it looks like points of it could be kind of heavy which is cool but it's it's just not going to be anything significant um and because of the sun's angle now this time of year and moving forward um any snow we do get it's just not going to stick around that much long that much longer obviously there's snow over here on the side this part of the mountain doesn't doesn't hardly see any sun it's just constantly in the shade. But yep, we're in Baldwin, and right now we, we gotta head over to uh, the trailer parks over off of Highway 38. So I will text you guys when I'm right there. Or text you guys, huh? I'm gonna have to sh shut you guys off when I'm right there. My mind is in a few different places, if you, if you can imagine. <coughs> and I also wanted to talk to you guys about something. Um, I know this is kind of uh, it far along in the video now, but I wanted you guys to know something. Um, and I know some of you who like to give me crap and uh, troll are going to say some mean things, but that's okay. That's okay. If I can help somebody because of this, then uh, that's all I care about. So while you guys are watching this video, I just want you to know that, that I almost died two and a half, uh, maybe three weeks ago. Um, I overdosed on hydrocodone. I took a hundred ten milligram hydrocodone within a six hour period, maybe less. And I didn't do it to try to hurt myself. Apparently my friend said I was like in a trance and I kept on jumping up like every 15 minutes saying, hey, dude, I need to take my pills. And he's like, bro, you just took like 10 of them. Like what, like, what are you doing? And this guy is a fighter. You know, he's, he's, he's a mixed martial artist and, and he, he couldn't even stop me. Um, he's my best friend. And, uh, so basically the night's going on and my friend doesn't think that I'm going to make it through the night. Um, I'm, I'm not responsive half the time. I ended up, uh, um, going out cause I wanted to go for a ride on my bike. And he said, I kept on falling into my motorcycle garage and, uh, 
Um, he, he couldn't even stop me from that. He said, I actually took my bike out at nighttime to go for a freaking ride when I was that messed up. Um, and I don't remember any of this. Um, he said all he was thinking was that he was, he, he, he was going to stand outside and he was just waiting to hear me crash. That's all he was waiting for. And he, he said it was so scary. It was so scary what I put him through. Um, the fact that I put my best friend through that, um, freaks me out and I don't want you guys passing judgment on me. Okay. Um, that was a very scary time for me. I wasn't trying to hurt myself. I suffer from depression and those, those pills actually take away my depression as well as physical pain. So they're, so they were like miracle pills. I've, I, I've been on and off of them for about 10 years guys for that particular reason. And I've never really had this problem. I don't know what happened this particular night, but whatever it was, it scared me so bad. And uh, I made a promise to myself that I'm never, ever, ever going to do that again. And I haven't. It's been three weeks just about. Um, my life is too important. You guys have made me realize that. Um, and the fact that I'm such a coward that I can't face life on life's terms and trying to, like, fix myself and grow, I have to take a pill. Like, I, I mean, how weak is that, really? So for, th for those of you that look up to me, I'm not perfect, man. I almost just died. Um, but that's not going to happen again. I was lucky to learn my lesson. I was lucky to survive that and learn my lesson. Um, I'm here for you guys. Whatever you guys need, man. I, I'm, I, I've been going through this most of my life, okay? I love you guys a lot. I'm not going to let anything happen to you guys. I'm always here for you. Please don't hesitate to contact me, okay? I'm always here for you. All right, guys. So we'll get back to that story in just a second. <coughs> we just for privacy we gotta shut this off peace out or I'll wait till we turn into the park we are alright guys sorry about that forgot to turn the video back on I'm sure you guys aren't too bummed about that but uh yeah so we're, at, we're in Bear City now we're just uh, passing a little area called Sugarloaf AKA Tweaker Loaf. Um, and guys, I really want to rent that place I rented on that last video and invite all of you guys up here to come up and have a great time. I think we could probably fit like 30 something people in the house comfortably, or fairly comfortably at least. Um, so I'd like to invite all of you up here and, and do something like that. That would be great. Anyway, just remember you guys, life's a struggle, man, and uh, trying to run away from things by self-medicating and doing stuff like that just, just is it's just such the, such the easy yet such risky way out. So don't be doing that. Don't be doing that. Learn from me and my, my fortune, my, my absolute fortune to be alive today. I'm so lucky. Um, you know, I don't, I don't want you guys struggling or feeling like you have to struggle through anything in life. And unfortunately it's, it's been a struggle for me with the alcohol and stuff like that and drugs. And, but come June 23rd, it'll be seven years since I've had a sip of alcohol, which is pretty incredible. And then Let's see. Um, yeah, in, three, in like in like a day or two, it'll be three weeks since I've had any hydrocodone. Yeah, I, you know, I don't want to disappoint the people that really love me out there, but I wanted to be honest with you guys because I do love you guys a lot, and I know you guys care about me. And um, you know, like uh, I, I, <laughs> I think a lot of my decision to stop, on top of being scared, was a. Uh, you know, you guys and, and how much I care about you guys and what you guys do for me. So I don't want to let you guys down. I mean, geez, like I live in Big Bear. Why would I do that stuff? Why not just enjoy this life up here? I mean, this is, this is wonderful. But anyway, so that's what happened with me 
Um, it's been a rough past three weeks. Um, for those of you that are really struggling with opioid addiction, um, I'm going to tell you something that's really going to help you. But unfortunately, it's one of those things that doesn't teach you a lesson when you use drugs like that. So I've got a way that, that you can come off of your, your narcotics without any withdrawals. Okay. And the way that that works is you take this stuff called Red Bali Kratom. K-R-A-T-O-M. It's called Red Bali. And a lot of smoke shops sell it. I buy a um, from a, a, a company called Crave. Crave Kratom. K-R-A-T-O-M. So what Crave is, what the Kratom is, is it's got two or three natural opioids in it, okay? Not the type that are really going to get you high, but um, when you take it, um, they uh, they kind of uh, you know adhere to your opioid receptors the same way that other op um, opioids do. So therefore, like I didn't have any withdrawals, nothing. I didn't feel high coming off of the stuff. I just didn't have any withdrawal symptoms, nothing like like that. I I didn't go through anything, which is what most people get scared of when they're trying to stop taking this stuff. That's why most people don't stop because they know what the withdrawals will do to them. They're freaking terrifying. Um, if you've ever seen train spotting, it's kind of similar. Um, like it, it can be bad. So yeah, <laughs> the Kratom works great for those of you who are scared to stop taking your drugs, but I, I, I really want you to stop taking your drugs and get on Kratom. And then after you've, you've, you've been on that for about a week, when I was coming off the pills, I was taking about 12 milligrams of Kratom at a time, four times a day for the first four or five days. So that was about 24 pills at a time, 24 capsules at a time. I know that seems like overkill, but it's certainly not. Um, I didn't get high at all, no buzz, nothing. But I, the only symptom I felt anything of was just really, was just being extra tired. But that's it. There was no vomiting, no cold sweats, no hot sweats. Uh, um, no diarrhea, nothing. So for all of you that are struggling out there, I'm, I, I'm telling you, this is this is your way out, but it does not teach you a lesson. Um, if you're gonna use it just to like, uh, when you run out of stuff and then, you know, stop using it when you get more stuff, this stuff's dangerous. Because as I said, you don't learn a lesson. You get no withdrawals. And for some reason, our country is trying to make the Kratom illegal and it really bothers me because it's like the only thing that's ever done anything for any withdrawal symptoms that I've ever had. And it's perfect. So I love you guys a lot. And I want you guys to know what I went through. I feel it's very important that you guys know that. Um, so those of you that look up to me, you realize that I am human, you know, like I, I, I'm, um, I'm no more special than anybody else out there. And I make a lot more mistakes than most. So the fact that you guys love me so much, oh my gosh, I think that's what's kept me alive. Um, I got lucky the other day, guys. I got lucky. So, and I'm not going to do that again. I promise you. Never again. Ever. So anyway, I love you guys. And we are almost to the end of our journey here. We're in between Division and Stanfield Cutoff. As I said, we're probably going to get three to six inches max. Um, it's supposed to start tomorrow on Sunday and finish up Monday evening. So we shall see. It'll be fun. It'll be fun though, because we haven't had any snow in a while, so it'll definitely be fun. And then, no more ending. Summit, baby. Sup?